Two local young people who have dealt with suicide firsthand are writing across the country to raise awareness about it. As Aspen Public Radio's Marcy Krivenen reports, suicide is unfortunately common in the Roaring Fork region. Recent college graduates Duncan McDaniel and Michael Kane are good friends and neighbors in Basalt. The duo is preparing for an adventure. When we were both graduating, we both decided that we wanted to do a trip, kind of a last hurrah before the real world. That's McDaniel, who says he was inspired in college to ride his bike from Aspen to New York City. Then he asked Kane to come along. We've never done anything like this. We've never really ridden over 80 miles. Uh, <laughs> And that's that's okay by us. I think I know we were both athletes in high school, and um, we definitely have an affinity for an unscripted adventure. They set out on their six-week adventure, dubbed the Blues Cruise, on Sunday, and they're riding for a cause to raise money for the local Hope Center, which caters to people in crisis or on the verge of taking their own lives. Pitkin County sees several suicides each year. Carrie Marsh with the Hope Center says one suicide occurs every 11 weeks in the county. That's three times the national average. In our valley, unfortunately, it's very easy to isolate. And once you have depression or other mental health issues and also feel a sense of isolation, also our substance abuse rate here is very high. So those things really kind of meld together to create an unfortunate reality. Kane and McDaniel are close to the issue. Kane's father committed suicide several years ago. He points to that as one reason to do the ride. Just with my connection to it with my father, I, I've always wanted to do something. I mean, it's the greatest way to start the healing process for any survivor is just to deal with it. It's never going to really fully help you, but it'll definitely it'll begin the process or continue the process. Since the men started preparing for their journey, they say people have opened up, coming forward with stories of their own. Talking about suicide, says Marsh, is a great way to deal with it. In one year, her organization has trained 1,400 people across the valley on how to recognize whether someone is in crisis. For Aspen Public Radio News, I'm Marcy Grevenen. A send-off for Kane and McDaniel is scheduled at 10 a.m. on Sunday at Peaches Cafe in Aspen. For Aspen Public Radio News, I'm Luke Runyon.